using the return statement hi in this lesson we will explore all about the return statement in python programming language to let a function return a value the return statement is used to exit a function and go back to the place from where it was called the syntax of the return statement is the return keyword followed by the expression this statement can contain expression which gets evaluated and the value is returned if there is no expression in the statement or the return statement itself is not present inside a function then the function will return none and the none object means no value at all okay we will see this in action let's go ahead to take a simple example to use the return statement here we have a simple function it is called degrees and it has x as an argument or parameter in between the parentheses of the degrees function after the function name directly and inside the body of the function and after leaving indentation expecting the local scope indentation of this function there are four white spaces before the return statement here okay using the return statement in this case is used to return the expression 15 multiplied by the value of x now we can call the degrees function let's call this function with different values for the x argument or parameter and the print function is used to display or print the final results from the calling process on the screen and the return statement here is used to make the expression 15 multiplied by x return value for the degrees function we have called this function called degrees two times here the value of the x argument in the first calling is equal to 2 and the value of the x variable or argument or parameter in the second calling is equal to 3. You can call this function with other values many times if you want to or if you need to do so in your program. You can take a look at the output of these calls here. You can see here the program gave us 30 for the first calling due to multiplying 15 by 2 depending on the expression of the return statement whereas the integer value 2 is passed into the degrees function as the value of the variable called x in the expression of the return statement and also in the same way for the second calling so we got the result that is equal to 45 and this value resulting from multiplying 15 by the value of the x variable or parameter or argument which equals 3 that's it it is very easy process as you can see try to do this by yourself and if you need any help please ask me and i'll answer you as soon as possible to provide you with support and assistance thanks for watching see you again next lesson